Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. This is going to be a short video regarding my uh, LG UD69P 27-inch 4K uh, monitor. You know, there's many different types of versions. There's a, a UD69, there's a UD68, and then there's UD67. This is the uh, 2017 version, UD69. And apparently this one supports 10-bit. Uh, and how do you get the 10-bit from your uh, NVIDIA graphics card? Very simple. Here, I'm going to show you how to check whether or not your uh, monitor supports 10-bit. Is this a good thing? Well, yeah, you know, it, it is a good thing if you have a monitor that supports a 10-bit, meaning that the 4K resolution and games in 4k will look much better in 10-bit than opposite of, of 8-bit you'll see much more color wide color gamut you'll see with a 10-bit uh here let me show you uh the trick is obviously here you can see it's a uh, native hold on let me click the um, automatic zoom right there the trick is to select uh, NVIDIA settings right here you want to go to the NVIDIA settings and then here's the this is the most important part right here you want to make sure you select 422 422 means that your television supports 10-bit if there was no option of 422 YC BCR 422 then your display would not support 10-bit okay and in this case mine supports the 10 bit if didn't support uh 10 bpc uh bit per color if it didn't support that then it wouldn't show up here on the option meaning that you wouldn't have it here so uh and even says right here uh they reduced the color data in the images of uh, ycbcr to 422 or 420 if supported by a display then you can have different types of this is different types of uh, reading codecs of what format your uh, television supports and mine does support 10 bit I didn't know I thought it was only 8 bit but in fact it is a 10 bit which is pretty cool I'm kind of like uh, happy about that um, as a matter of fact we can do a quick test uh, we can just run one game really quick just to see how well it uh, it looks in the 10 bit I'm gonna fire up um, Actually, I'll do this in real time. I'm going to fire up the uh, Mass Effect Andromeda really quick and check it out. This is my uh, overhead light that I have on. That's what you guys are seeing. Okay. I just want to see how well it looks. All right, so here we are. Um, the first thing I notice is that um, it looks more vibrant, like the color pops more now. I see the color pop much better right now. I'm going to try to keep it like this so you guys can see it uh, because I have this uh, overhead light. Okay, so sorry about that. But I'm going to go ahead and fire this game up and really quick, and then we're going to resume it. Just so you guys, uh, just so I can give you uh, my thoughts on how it looks. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you definitely notice a much better difference switching to 10-bit. Uh, I don't know if you guys cannot see it, but I can see it. It just looks better. It looks more, uh, the color pops more now. That's the one thing I've noticed is, look at that color, look at that red. You see that little blinking red light over here? You see how the color pops a little bit better. It's definitely better, more, more colorful. You can see like in the distance, the clouds are much more uh, colorful. The color pops a little bit better now because you have that 10 bit. Yeah, definitely much better. Uh, you know, I noticed a little bit something. I think someone told me, I don't know who it was, 
might have been Sam, uh, one of my subscribers, who said, hey, dude, your TV supports 10-bit, bro. You need to switch it to 10-bit. And I was like, are you sure? Because I, I thought that only HDR TV supports 10-bit, but that's not the case. Uh, you don't have to have an HDR to support a 10-bit, you know. Uh, well, in most cases you do, but sometimes you can have a non-HDR TV that supports 10-bit. And in this case, this TV doesn't have HDR, but it does have 10-bit support uh and it makes the the 4k it looks the see the color now looks much better see the red and blue i mean i'm sorry the blue dark blue sky blue uh the red over here looks much better uh that icon right here that low measurement red looks better there so the 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 dark sky blue the light sky blue uh, it looks much better man the fog, the haze fog right here. You know what I mean? The haze, the fog, the haze looks better here now in the middle. Uh, it just looks better, dude. You know, I didn't... Look, even with 8-bit, it was looking good. But I did notice something was off, you know. And I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed when I was recording this that something was off. And now I realize, you see that red light? See how it pops? See that little beacon? That little red light over here? Once in a while it pops, you'll see it. And you see just how vibrant that color is. And it looks fantastic, man. Even here, you can see, uh, see that red light? See how it pops? That, that little red light over here? This is definitely much better now. And yes, I can adjust my contrast. Uh, this television does have the option. I'm sorry, not the television. Uh, you see that red light, how it pops now much better. This monitor does have that option to uh, get the contrast a little bit higher. And also to get the backlit a little bit higher as well. So you do have that option on this uh, monitor uh, as well. But it definitely looks better. This is definitely better, man. Look at the, the 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 color on the tires, man. It's much better here, dude. It just it just looks better, you know. All right, let me uh. I should have used my tripod. I know I didn't, but uh, still, it don't matter. Uh, it looks good, especially right here. The color pops big time. Yeah, you definitely see more color now. It's much more colorful. Yeah. So yeah, it definitely looks better now. So look, whoever it was that told me that my uh, monitor supports 10-bit, thank you. And if you know who you are, just write a comment down below. I can't remember who it was that told me, but apparently you knew more than me about this model. By the way, this is the, the 2017 version model. There's different types of this model, and this one does support 10-bit, which is the UD69. You got 68, which is the last year version. And then you got UD69, which is this year version. <clears throat> so there you have it, guys. Hopefully uh, this video was informative. Uh, today, I don't know, I might do some videos. I might do some comparisons. Uh, the Last of Us. Uh, I might do three different types of comparison between this monitor, my M55C2, and my Samsung KS8000. I might do some comparisons with some different types of games, do some calibrations and stuff like that. Other than that, uh, hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you did, thank you for uh, watching and thank you for support. I appreciate it. Hopefully this uh, it's informative. All right, guys. Thank you and uh, have a good one.